Hi guys, in this tutorial I'll show you how to create the easiest rotation transition effect in After Effects. Let's get started. First let's create a new adjustment layer. Now move 30 frames forward by holding shift and pressing page down 3 times. Cut the end of the adjustment layer, then place it above your two clips so it overlaps like this. Now scroll to the beginning of the adjustment layer so we can apply the effects. Before we continue, I want to mention that I've already included this transition in my preset pack. With it, you can simply drag and drop the preset, choose the side you want the car to rotate, and it will be applied automatically. You can also adjust the keyframes to make the transition smoother, faster, or slower. I won't apply the preset now, let me show you how to create the exact rotation manually. Apply the transform effect to the adjustment layer, click the rotation stopwatch icon to add a keyframe, then go to the very end of the layer and set the rotation to 1. In my preset, I use 4 rotation keyframes so you can adjust the speed for each side, which makes the transition look even better. But in this tutorial, we'll keep it simple and use only 2 keyframes. Select both rotation keyframes and press F9 on your keyboard to easy ease them. Then open the graph editor, right click, choose edit speed graph, and adjust it to make a smooth curve like this. Let's check the transition. That looks good, but let's add some motion blur. Disable use composition's shutter angle and increase the shutter angle to 360 for maximum blurriness. To add even more blur, enable motion blur on the adjustment layer as well. Next let's fix the black edges. Apply the motion tile effect. Now move it above the transform effect, otherwise it won't work. Enable mirror edges, then set both output width and output height to 400. Let's quickly check the effect. Looks fine but let's enhance it a bit more. Scroll to the beginning of the adjustment layer and apply the CC radial blur effect. Set the type to rotate, and change the quality to 100. Click the amount stopwatch and keep it at 0. Then scroll to the middle of your two clips and increase the amount to 15. Finally scroll to the end of the layer and set the amount back to 0. Now press U on your keyboard to reveal the keyframes. Select only the amount keyframes and press F9 to easy ease them. Open the graph editor and adjust the curve to make it smooth like mine. Let's quickly check it. Looks smoother and better now. For the final touch, I'll add a shake effect from my shake pack. I'll skip showing the shake process here since I've already made plenty of shake tutorials. Also I've created 16 unique shake presets that you can get from the link in the description. Check out how it looks with the shake applied. Hope you found this video helpful, thanks for watching and if you enjoyed it, please give it a like.